There is no competition. We on the band again. There is no competition. Who doesn't want to fight Diego Sanchez, you know? I mean, he's probably the biggest name in the lightweight division. who will bar the champion, you know? Um, he comes to fight. He comes to put on an amazing amazing fights for the fans that are going to remember forever, you know? I want, to, I want my name to go down in, in the UFC history books and fighting Diego Sanchez. That's going to happen, you know? Um, we're both come forward fighters. We both like to put on a fight for the fans. And uh, Albuquerque is his hometown, and, and them fans are going to get a good night of fights. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Um, my body feels good. My mind feels great. Um, I'm just excited to, to go out there and perform on a big stage, you know? It's my first time fighting in America for three years now and uh, I'm excited to get back over there and, and fight in front of the American fans on the, on the big stage out there. First and foremost, you know, the last fight he fought one of my training partners in Miles Jury. And Miles Jury is a, ta is a tactician, you know. He doesn't come to fight to have wars. He doesn't come to, uh, to spill blood, you know. That's not the kind of guy he is, you know. He's smart, intelligent. He thinks about what he's doing. And, and obviously my head coach, Eric Del Ferro, was in the corner and they came up with a great game plan. So. Maybe Diego Sanchez wasn't feeling great, maybe he did have some bad food, but yeah, trying to figure out Miles Jury is a lot harder than just feeling bad and, and having something wrong with you, you know? So yeah, it could be a combination of both, Diego having an off night, but also Miles Jury coming in with a great game plan that Diego didn't fight well, you know? Um, having said that, I'm a completely different fighter to, to Miles. I do things a lot different to him. Um, Diego knows that, the whole world knows that, so yeah, he's not expecting me to take a, take a backward step, he's not expecting me to come in there and play it all tactical, he's coming in there to me to fight, you know, and that's what he's going to get. Well, the Gillard fight of 60 seconds that it was, it wasn't really that good, was it? So fighting Diego Sanchez is always going to be better, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I missed that rematch, the, it was a fight that I definitely wanted to happen in the future for sure, you know, I, 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 I felt like I owed Melvin something, you know, we didn't, we had unfinished business. So um, unfortunately, it's not going to happen in the UFC, but down the line, who knows what happens, he may come back, we may get it on, you know, um, it's, it's who knows in this business, one fight, you could be the champion, one fight, you're out the door, you know, it's so up and down in this sport, you don't know what's going on within your next fight, you just take one fight at a time. But yeah, Diego is a, is a great, matchup for me I think stylistically and as an opponent with his credentials his he's the ultimate fighter one winner he he's done it all in mixed martial arts he's been in there with the biggest name she can get and um, he's a he's a massive name himself and, and these are the guys that I want to be fighting you know I don't want to be fighting Joe blogs from the street you know I want to be fighting the best guys in the world and and putting on the best fights while the UFC and, and the fans are gonna gonna remember for a long time, you know. I'm in this for for the long running, you know. Um, I want my name to go down in UFC history. Uh, it's a it's a little bit of a harsh move um, to cut Melvin, you know. I, I'm actually a fan of Melvin. I like his fight style. I like it when he comes and he puts it on, you know. Um, that's the Melvin that I like to watch. Um, but when you when, when you get to call me an event on a big card in the UFC and, and you're there to to put on a show and entertain the fans, and if you're not doing it. And that's off your own back, you know. Um, if you're not doing it, you're not going to get the hype, the credential, everything from, back from the UFC, what you should get by putting on a show, you know. I think it's in being a mixed martial artist, you're an entertainer. And if you're not entertaining at the top level, you, you're not going to be around for a long time. I mean, I don't decide what, what Diego does in his career, whether he keeps fighting, retiring, or whatever he, whatever he does. I don't think about that. I don't care about that. Um, I care about me and what I'm doing with my career, you know? What I see with this fight is me finishing Diego Sanchez and moving further in my career than I've ever moved fighting anyone, you know? Um, I want to take that big step, that big leap, um, have that big fight, you know? Gilbert Melendez just beat Diego Sanchez and probably the greatest fight this year and now he's up for a title shot. I'm not saying that I'm going to get a title shot after I beat Diego but it's going to bump us up in there into the, into the top names of the division and that's exactly what I see this fight doing. I'm a fan of the sport as well as a, as a, as a competitor, you know. Uh, I like watching entertaining fights and, and I respect that about Diego, you know, he brings it and, and, he, and he, brings a, he brings a fight to anyone. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, 
whatever reason he brings a fight and he always looks looks for that fight you know he's a crazy man he's a wild man but you got to respect the fighter that is inside of him you know you've seen him being in wars you've seen his face mangled and and he still wants to fight you know he's got it in here and in here what what just doesn't give up you know so i know it's not going to be an easy fight it's not going to be a one punch knockout go home there's your paychecks have a nice week you know i'm in there for the long run you know i expect some blood i expect some some sore aches and pains the next day you know so i'm getting prepared mentally and physically for an absolute war there is no competition we are the best